What's up guys, it's Kwan here, back with another video, and this is YouTube Basic, a series where I share some tips and tricks on how to start a YouTube channel in two minutes or less, hopefully. Now, there's a lot of information out there, like what gear I should use, what's the best editing software, and so on. So today, we're going to take a look at the YouTube Essentials under $50. Let's begin! The most common question that people will ask is, what camera should I use under a certain price point? And the obvious answer that many content creators will say is, whatever is in your pocket. Whether or not you own the latest Android or iPhones out there, chances are you will be able to record in 1080p or even in 4K. However, I wouldn't recommend 4K as it does require a lot of storage space, but for the most part, 1080p will work just fine. Now I started this channel recording with my Samsung Galaxy S3 and well, I wouldn't say they were my best videos out there, but I was happy with what I started with and from there I worked my way up. Now it will be easy to say that this is all you need, but sometimes you just need something a little extra to make your content look a little bit more professional. And here are the essentials on the cheap. A tripod. Something like an Amazon Basic, which is $15, will work just fine if you're just recording yourself. Or if you want to do vlogs, then this mini Manfrotto tripod is also a good option. It goes for around $16 depending on the bundle. You can place it on a table or use it as a handle for some steady shots. A phone holder. Sometimes you can get these little cheap ones that comes with the tripod, but for something more versatile, I recommend this Alazi ST-03 metal smartphone tripod mount for $19.95. It is super compact and you can attach a mic to it. And speak of mics, a microphone is probably the most critical gear in my opinion. This cheap little $10 to $15 lav mic one will work just fine. Now, this isn't the best options out there, but you can fix it in post and it sounds a lot better than recording straight from your phone. So that's it for this video. Now, this was only the essentials to hopefully get you started, but in the future, I will do more specific videos like some basic editing techniques, how to create simple thumbnails, and more gear-related content like this. Anyway, that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to like this video if you liked it, leave a comment on what you want to see next, and most importantly, subscribe and tap that bell for the latest update. That'd be greatly appreciated. As always, you can catch me on all the social media. I'm at Fun For You and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Dang, I think that was perfect.